Good morning, everybody. I'm getting unloaded here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I don't know if you can see it behind me there. There's a whole bunch of freight here already. This was someone else's load. There's gotta be, had to have been at least I mean, 15 other trucks that have delivered here already. Big job site, something big is going up here. So, I'm hanging out here around my truck. Well, the equipment on that side unloads me right there. It's a beautiful day. I already went for a short jog this morning, which I need to do more often because, wow, I'm out of shape. <laughs> when I say I went for a short jog, <laughs> it was like half a mile. I did walk for the other half mile, so I don't, I went a mile, but oh. You know, the weather is good outside. I have been trying to be more active. And you know, it's, it's sometimes it's tough to find the motivation because there's no time, right? This job requires a lot of time for me. That put together with uh, my YouTube videos, family at home. You know, that is my whole life, really. My family, my, my truck, and my videos. So to squeeze in another time-consuming activity into there is challenging, but not impossible. Just gotta figure it out. And this summer, we're gonna figure it out. We're also getting a... Hammering on my trailer or something. Oh, <laughs> freaks me out. Uh, this summer, uh, actually soon, we're, we're gonna be buying another treadmill. Remember we bought that treadmill off Amazon, it showed up and it was just garbage. We returned it and we got our refund for that, which was a whole hassle in itself because it was so big. They did take it back. I'm not saying anything bad against the person, the, the company that we bought it off of. They took it back, full refund, it was damaged, it wasn't working. Uh, but sending it back, you had to get like FedEx to come and like you had to schedule a pickup with them because it was 112 pounds. So, yeah, that, that was a big hassle, but now I know how to do that and figure that out. So we're gonna go buy another one soon. So that even on the rainy days, we can start being more active and uh, hopefully providing a little bit of a better example for our son not letting ourselves balloon up too much, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna pay attention here for when they're done, because once they're done, I'm gonna have to move out of here. I have no reload yet. I called in already and uh, they're working. They're working on it. Checking over here, checking over there, sniffing around over there and sniffing around over here, trying to find freight for me. We'll see what they come up with. So there's my load, right over there. Empty trailer. So, just like I said, they have something for me to go and pick up in Weyburn. As soon as I was empty, I've never had to wait long. They've always taken care of me. Now, I've been doing this between you know, flatbeds and dry van for, oh, it's gonna be 13 years here in October. October 26th, I believe, is gonna be 13 years. Been driving truck for 17 years then. Man, time flies, I don't feel that old. I don't think I am that old. I started really young. In Manitoba, where I live, you can get your class one CDL when you're 18 years old, and that's exactly what I did. I knew what I wanted to do. There was no questioning it. So I started my trucking career as soon as I could, delivering locally for the first five years till I was 23. And then when I was 23, uh, I was over 21, so I was legal to drive into the United States as well. So then I started doing long haul across North America. 
and been doing the same thing ever since at the same place. And they've never left me waiting. The few times where I've had to wait a little while, they'll let me know in advance saying, hey, we have this load. Uh, it doesn't pick up till the morning or it doesn't pick up till Monday. And I realize it's Friday or Saturday. Like, are you okay waiting? So I, I knew that I wouldn't be waiting here very long. Let's go get it. Oh. Actually, it's still a half hour before my appointment to unload. They brought me in an hour and a half early and got me unloaded in about 15, 20 minutes. And I got my reload immediately right after. So I already am on my next mission before this mission was actually even scheduled to be over. That's a good day. That's a good trucking day. And the weather is perfect outside. Not too hot, not too cold. It could be a little bit greener, but we're here in Canada. So Western Canada, things don't get green until June. But I'll take the weather. I'll take the heat. So come a little closer here. So before we get going any further here, today's shout out in my vlog goes to PBX Truck Service. Peterbilt of Steinbeck. That is the shop the only shop that's authorized to work on Old Blue. It's the shop that's been working on her since the beginning of time for this old girl. They do a fantastic job, and this year they're having a truck show at their location in Blumenort, right on the main street of Blumenort there. They have a large yard. They're clearing it all out of all their trucks and trailers. They're gonna have a big truck show there. Doc Walker is headlining. There's a bunch of other bands there as well. My truck, Old Blue, is going to be entered into their working truck show. I invite you to come out. It's on July 26th. I hope to see you there. Flying J is just around the corner here. We're gonna go grab a coffee. Then we'll make our way down to Weyburn. It's about four hours south of here. Shout out to Darren. Where'd you go? Well, he took off already. <laughs> he was in a Super B uh, green truck. Just swung in here, uh, he saw my truck, came over and said hi to me. Really cool guy. So, thanks for coming to say hi, Darren. Let's get moving, maybe we'll see him out here. He said he was holding a little fertilizer. Pretty amazing. 
transmission still has the sunroof on top of the cab. A nice truck. I wonder if he wants to sell it. I'm not ready for it right now, but <laughs> I do want to uh, buy a few more trucks in the future. That is my plan to grow my my business. I want to have I want to have a small small little fleet going uh, probably about four trucks let's see if I can get more than that but if I can get four I think that would be uh, a good goal to go go for and we can see where we're at from there but I'm not ready to start expanding for the next at least two years I want them to be all uh, W9s I'd, I'd buy a Peterbilt 389 379 no problem but my first choice is always going to be Kenworth W900s Driving for me is not going to be like driving for any other company. We're not going to be just hiring anybody off the street with a CDL. We're going to have nice trucks, we're going to have polished trucks, and I'm going to hire drivers that are going to take care of those trucks like they're, they are their own, and I want to pay them accord accordingly for that. I want to have bonuses for keeping your truck clean inside and out. I want to have really good pay packages, obviously. Every every company wants to say that, but give me the opportunity to prove it in a couple of years. I don't want just anybody driving my trucks. I want people who know what they're doing, who are very experienced driving in Canada and the United States, who know how to take care of a truck. And what I'll give you in return is a sweet sweet truck to drive I might just ask that you bring it to some truck shows though so we can have them all there like we'll see what happens but either way it's what I want to do oh whoa oh that car's gonna hit the backpack are you kidding me that car behind me Drove right into that backpack. Were you not paying attention? That could have been a human. Oh my, I wish I had a camera facing backwards right now. There was a little Mini Cooper behind me, like way behind me. Plenty of time to see that I went around this bag. You're seeing traffic go around this obstacle in the highway. What are you doing that you didn't see it? You just drove right into it. Did you see that? Right on. Highway 16 East Highway Drove right over that guy's 14 backpack. West Trans Canada Highway and then turn left in 0 0.3 miles. If you could have a conversation with our wonderful leaders in Winnipeg on how investments like highways are worth it, that would be fantastic. They could learn a few things. Thank you. And guess what? This is an actual freeway. There's overpasses, not traffic lights. Continue on this road for 63 miles. Saskatchewan. You are welcome to sit down with Manitoba anytime. <laughs> Teach us your ways, the ways of the overpass. Just got here to Weyburn. I'm at the shipper. My appointment isn't until tomorrow. It's three o'clock. I'd like to get loaded today. What do you guys think are my chances? I'm gonna put on my best trucker Josh smile. I'm just gonna wander in there innocently. Say, hey, if you want, if you want to do less tomorrow or have less to do tomorrow, I'm just saying we can load me today and you don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow. What do you think? I think they'll go for it. I'm going to try. 
I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna roll them up here to their uh, to their door. I'm gonna walk in there and uh, see what they say. 100% of the questions that are not asked are a no. What's the worst thing they can say? No? Okay, well, I'll come back tomorrow. But I can guarantee you if I don't ask, it's definitely a no. So, who knows, maybe they'll say yes. All right. Wish me luck. This is part of trucking, you know? Sometimes you just gotta ask. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? If you load me today, you don't have to load me tomorrow. Unless the product's not ready yet. If it's not ready yet, well then that makes sense. I gotta wait till tomorrow. But, I mean, there's no one else here. They don't close for like another hour and a half. We'll see what they say. Ask and ye shall receive. That's my paperwork. We're getting loaded today. Oh, I got so excited I forgot I locked my truck. Where's my keys? Isn't that great? Told you it was gonna be a good day. It's three o'clock, man. I would have had to wait here till like 7 a.m. tomorrow, which would have been fine. I was prepared to do that. But, uh... <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, boy. See this face right here? That's the face of a happy trucker. That is awesome. Can't hurt to ask. So I'm picking up five reels. Uh, they're big reels, it looks like. Girl, oh wow, they're 9,000 pounds each. So it'll be a full load. And I am taking these through into Ontario. There you are, Blue. There you are. See, I'm glad we didn't take an extra long break. Because I got the message before and it said, oh, your appointment to load is tomorrow. I was like, oh, I guess I can take it easy. I ended up getting carried away and just driving the whole way without taking a big long break which got me here at three o'clock. And I'm like, ah, well, okay. So he told me to pull around the corner here. He's just gonna move his big forklift. And I'm gonna move into that spot. Ah, there we go, good. They had another truck back there that they were just gonna get to move out of the way. All right, so here we are, I've got five reels. I've got four up front here and one over the front axle of my trailer. And we're perfectly lined up for Canadian weights. These are 9,000 pounds each. So we got 18,000 pounds across there, 18,000 across there and 9,000 on the back. That puts my drives, according to my air pressure gauge. Uh, I'm thinking my drive should be sitting at about 36,000 pounds, maybe 36,500. We're allowed up to 37,500 or 17,000 kgs. Same thing on the back, except the back will be less. And I'd rather carry the weight than pull it, so I want more weight on my drives than on my trailer tandems. So this should work just great. So 19,000 pounds across here. Each one of my chains are rated at 6,600 pounds. I'm gonna put three chains. One, two, three, through here. Plus it has this helping it. So if I have to slam on the brakes, I know that these aren't gonna come through my cab up there. Three, three, I'm gonna put through three at the back. Even though I only need two at the back, I'm gonna, for peace of mind, I'm gonna put an extra chain through the back one as well. And then we'll be on our way. They have these special tools here for us. It's got a hook on one end, a long hook. And what you do with these, you stick them through the holes in the reels, in the middle of the reels. You hook the chain onto it on the other end and then you pull the chain through. And that's how you get it through there. Just 
hook it on there like that. And that's how you get the chains through there. All right, so here's what I did. We're all done here. Starting at the back. I did put the four chains on here. I only needed two. But I was gonna put three on here, but there's no place to put a center chain, right? So I ended up putting four, why not? It's right at the back. Just double sure that it's not gonna roll forward and not gonna roll back into someone's car. Then I got these chained up here. Not gonna go forward, because the step right there, these chains holding this back from going that way. Every one of these binders has a lock on it. So we are ready to go. And there's room on the trailer for some LTL if they find some along the way. I have about, I'll have to scale it for sure just to get an exact weight, but I have between seven to 10,000 pounds available on the back end there that I can throw a few pallets back there if, if we want to. That's why I loaded it this way. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money makes the world go round and makes a trucker very happy. Well, the grass is starting to turn green here. You see all those buds on the trees? In a quarter mile, turn right on. First Avenue, Highway 13. Maybe they're too small for the camera to pick up. 0.2 miles turn right on. First Avenue, Highway 13. Spring is getting ready to burst out here in Weyburn. And I gotta find somewhere to grab a coffee. There's a liquor store, that's not what I need right now. Coffee! Oh, there's a co-op gas station over there. I guess I could go in there. Don't really know if I want gas station coffee, but I mean coffee's coffee, I guess. Continue on this road for 156 miles. here at six o'clock now here in mountain time in Saskatchewan uh, I would have been leaving well I would have only been getting to the customer tomorrow at 7 a.m. probably getting out of there at about nine so I'm like 15 hours ahead of schedule and I already had plenty of time to get out to Ontario I got till next Monday I almost wonder if they're gonna get me to do something else in the meantime but I'm gonna be back at the yard Pardon me, back at the yard tonight, which is Tuesday night, 
And then I don't have to leave with this until Friday or even Saturday early morning, but Friday to be safe so to make sure I get there on time. Tuesday night. I have Wednesday and Thursday at home. I guess Wednesday and Thursday will be my weekend. Stay at home for Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday we'll start pointing our nose east to the great eastern part of our great country. Go see how my eastern friends are doing down there on the greater Toronto area. See how much has changed every time you go there. It's like going into a whole different country. It changes so fast. I don't need a toque. What am I doing? It's warm outside. All right, I'll be right back. Let's go uh, give this coffee. Uh... Well, we're, we're, we're pretty lucky today, right? We got loaded early. Maybe we'll get some good coffee from the gas station too. You never know. We're on a roll. <sighs> well, that was embarrassing. I was just telling you how I was having such a lucky day, right? Oh, so I pour a cup of coffee, bring it to the counter, pay for everything, right? I'm like, yeah, have a good day, have a good day. And as I'm going to leave to grab my coffee, I miss it and I hit it with the, my hand and I knock it over and coffee goes everywhere. All over the counter, down there, chocolate bars below the counter, underneath there and... Oh, I felt so bad. I offered to clean it up and they, they insisted that they that they clean it up. But, oh, they let me have another coffee too. They let me pour a fresh coffee, which is nice of them. It was my mistake. And I guess that's it for my luck today. <laughs> Got loaded early. That's it, Trucker Josh. That's all you get. Man, that was embarrassing. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. Whoops. against the fence tonight and this is where I'm gonna sleep it's too late to go home it's already quarter after two in the morning I've got to get to bed so I'm gonna have a good night's sleep here and we'll go home in the morning I'll be home for the next couple of days and then so tomorrow's Wednesday Wednesday and Thursday I'll be leaving Friday most likely with this load so I'll take my weekend now in the middle of the week and I'll work through the weekend uh, coming up we gotta get this load into Ontario. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. Don't forget, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos all the time. Uh, down below, below the video, hit that like button if you did like my video. Helps me out more than you think. Leave me a comment down below. Helps me out even more. Go down into my description below my video. If you're on a mobile device, click the title below the video and click more. There's a little tab there that says more. And you can check out all the links to my social media and also the links to all of my friends as well. You'll find the link there to PBX, their truck, uh, their truck service site there as well. It's pbxtruck.ca. Go and check them out, and if you're in the area and you need your truck serviced, 
you know who to go to because you know where I go. And remember, July 26th, 2024, there's a truck show at their site in Blumenort. I'm going to be there, and I really hope to see you all there as well. It's going to be some good music and some good times. I'll see you later, everybody. Stay safe out there. Just stick on the ice.